Hi, Sandra here with another self-care tip. One of my favorite ways to relax is to have a nice hot bath. And it's where essential oils can help to enhance the experience for your mind, body, and soul. Plus, you'll be experiencing some amazing aromatherapy. Before talking about which oils to use, let's go over some important safety information. Pure essential oils are potent and powerful. We've heard the phrase, oil and water don't mix. Well, this applies here. It's why you would never want to simply add oils to your bath water alone. They will just float on top of the water and could cause an irritation to your skin, eyes, or other sensitive areas. Trust me on this. As a novice oil user many years ago, I put straight rosemary oil into my bath water. And let's just say I really felt it. (laughs) Don't worry. This is an easy situation to solve. And all you need to do is use something as a carrier to emulsify the essential oil before adding it to the water. My favorite way to do this is by using Epsom salts. It also adds an additional therapeutic layer to your bath experience. I buy my Epsom salt in bulk at Bulk Barn. It is really high quality salts and extremely reasonably priced. Make sure that you are buying plain Epsom salts and nothing that says it has a um, fragrance to it, even if it says it's um, fragranced with, with lavender or essential oil. Make sure you are buying plain Epsom salts. The way I do it is to take any container with a lid. I often use an old tea canister or you can use a plastic container. It really doesn't matter. First, add the amount of Epsom salt that you're going to use for the bath. That's going to be generally one to two cups. Then add up to 15 drops of essential oil. And that's the basic recipe. I just put the lid on and shake it up real good. And that incorporates the oil into the salt. So then when it's added to the bath water, it dissolves into the water. When you make this, you can also add a few extras in to make it even nicer. I sometimes add a handful of pink sea salt for the extra minerals and a tablespoon or so of baking soda to help soften the skin. It makes for a really nice combination. What oils are good to use for your bath? Ah, The possibilities are endless. You can go by what aromas and scents appeal to you, or you can customize a blend depending on what you're going after. Maybe you are looking to de-stress, decompress, or maybe it is time for bed and you want to be able to relax so you can have a more restful sleep. Maybe you are looking for some pain relief for either achy muscles or joints, or maybe a very romantic aphrodisiac blend is what you're after. Using essential oils in the bath can also be detoxifying for both our body and with emotions. It can help us release something that we are holding on to and help to imprint a more positive emotion that we would like to hold within us. It's a really, really nice way to practice self-care. Thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like as that helps others to be able to see it as well. If you have a question or comment on anything essential oil related, please let me know and I'd be happy to help. In the meantime, take care and I will see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you are interested in getting started with essential oils, there is a link for a personal shopping experience in the notes section. And if you would like some personal guidance and help with selecting which oils are best for you, either leave a comment or get in touch with me by personal message. My contact details are in the notes.